Hey guys, we're going to do a quick little tutorial here today on how to make a go-kart track with the go-kart track pack. So what you'll do is you'll have this big pack here. Um, you're going to open up the place file uh, gokarting.rbxl and it'll be down in the description below. And you'll have this little pack here. So what you're going to do is you're going to ungroup the pack so that way you have each piece and then you'll click on a piece that you want. The easiest way I would think to do is start out with your finish line. So what you're on, gonna want to do to keep it in grid format is take the move and make it be 37. And rotate, you will only need to rotate pieces by 90 degrees. Now you're just gonna use the move as in these buttons. You don't want to drag it because that might pull it off of the grid. So move your finish line out. That way it's all by itself. And then I think I want a straight piece. So what you're going to do is you're going to press Control and D to duplicate the piece and then move it. And that way that piece will still be over there in the pack. Uh, if I'm going to use a straight piece again, I can just duplicate it again and then move it by one spot. And then I'm going to want to turn. So. I'm going to press Ctrl G to duplicate it. If you see this, if, if it's not doing a very square format, you're going to press Ctrl and L to redo your axis. And then you're going to go ahead and move it right into place. And if it's not the right way, just rotate it. And you can just keep doing this. So we'll ro rotate this piece again, put that there, it's being a little more technical, so do that. Uh, if you want to use some special pieces, like we have this ramp here, again you're just going to do the control D and move, and you're going to bring it right over and rotate into place. Now obviously now that you're up, you need to use a piece that is elevated. So in my case, I'm just going to use this, this bridge function right here. And we'll move that right into place. Uh, it might look a little strange, though, the way that is. Um, if you see little gaps like this, feel free to resize them. Uh, you can just kind of you know, use a piece or whatever. Or uh, if you send me the track and I see little pieces like this, I'll be able to fix them up for you. Um, so I want another turn piece. We'll just move that turn into place. Uh, here's a little over-under piece. Move that piece into place, and obviously you see it's not lined up the right way, so we'll turn it. And then I want to bring them back down. We'll bring the ramp back over and bring them back down. Uh, now I want to do another turn. The whole point is to try to get the carters to go through that underneath piece there. So we're going to have a tight little hairpin corner here into that. Uh, and now that they went underneath, let's have them drive them straight away. Um, I feel like another turn. We need to start heading back towards the finish line now. You know, it's getting a little bit longer. Um, but I want to add in some more flare, so we're going to head back over this way. And I want to use one of these. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it seems to be off, but I will make sure to fix that for the pack. Yeah, those are off slightly. But don't worry about that. I will fix that for the pack. Um, Actually, seeing a live fix right now. 
I'm going to use these tunnel pieces here. Um, so what you're actually going to see is one of them is called tunnel start end. Uh, and you're going to want to use that to start and then you want to use it to end as well because it has this extra headboard piece. Um, so what you'll see out of like the tunnel straight feature, it doesn't have that extra headboard piece. It just has the big old light. Uh, so you want to use this piece right here when you're going to start a tunnel. And you want to make sure the headboard piece is outward. And then... We'll put that piece there. And then we'll put the headboard piece on again, going the other way. And I think I want to do an invert of this, so grab both pieces and duplicate them. Drag them across, and then we just have to rotate the turn into place. Like that. Uh, next, I'm just going to go across like that. Um, I guess we'll use the chicane feature. Now the chicane is an extra large piece because of the way that the chicane kind of moves. You know, it does like a little squiggle. Um, but it'll still line up in place if you just continue using the 37. I'm not quite sure what happened here. There we go. Um, Anyways, we're just going to rotate that like that, and then move it over so that way it lines up. Grab the straight piece and line that up. Grab this straight piece and line that up. So there we go. Now I have a test track. Uh, but, you know, it's not very unique yet. So we're going to grab some of the uh, additional decoration features. Like I want some water right here. Put some water in. I just want some regular old grass. We'll move some grass right there. Um, add some more grass right through there. And right in there. Um, add some more grass here just to make it a big old block. Um, more grass over here. Big thing is that you want to put enough grass in that it looks like a big block. You don't want to have like weird little edges and stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to add in some grandstand. I always want some grandstands for the fans. And then last but not least, I'm just going to add some advertising right here near the end. Like that. And so now you can see it has a nice little feel to it. Uh, we have some advertising here. Um, at some point I will be able to fill these in. So just leave them blank. Don't put any de decals on them. But now we have this nice little feel to our place where, you know, it, it's more than just a little track. And, you know, we got some elevation change. And we got a nice little tunnel feature. And we got some grandstands and stuff. So now if you want to test out the track... You just turn back on point one mode. Uh, the slowest cart is going to be the starter cart, this blue one here. So you're just going to put that onto your track. And then you're going to kind of line up your body, your little floating camera here like you're above it. And then go to test. And then play here. And it'll drop your character right above the cart. And then all you have to do is jump in the cart. And it'll be able to drive. As you can see, it's a very slow cart. Uh, might need some more speed to get up the hills. So I guess the starter carts should not have any uh, have any elevation, uh, as we can see. But just to give you kind of like a little look around the rest of the course here with the starter cart. As you can see that little book end there, going down through the tunnel. Underneath the bridge. 
once again the starter car won't be able to make it up this hill it doesn't have quite enough speed to make that happen so any starter cart courses if you want your course to be specifically only for the starter cart just uh, don't include any elevation to it so I'll move the starter cart out of the way the next cart up is uh, the K1 cart uh, we'll probably get a rename instead of being K1 but for now it's just it's very similar to the K1 carts in real life much faster feels very different so you can make it up the elevation uh, you might want to not put the elevation so close to corners like that like I did they can as you can see the elevation does slow the cart down quite a bit uh, so you'll want to make sure that it has enough room to be able to get up the speed to get up there It's all about just testing things out, figuring it out. As you can see, you made, you've now made a nice little area for go-kart racing. So I'll be happy to see what you guys send in. Uh, just make uh, your, your track and then send the whole thing as a model. So what you'll end up doing, uh, remove all the carts out. And actually go ahead and delete them and then delete all these um, and lastly what I didn't talk about is there is a white cart over here this is the professional cart um, this cart is going to be uh, for a later point in the game this car I will be accepting actual tracks um, this means not using these pieces but making your very own track for the cart uh, obviously the track should not be like the size of a NASCAR track because this is a go-kart nonetheless um, but if you want to make like an actual track for go-karts, uh, this will be the quote-unquote professional car and you can make your own custom track using my other track tutorials. Um, but if you're just going to make a cart for the game, or a track for the game, uh, for the K1 and the starter cart, uh, all you have to do is take this whole thing here and then you're going to group them all. And then once you go inside the group there, uh, take all the pieces that are inside. So you can either do what I just did right there by clicking the top one, scrolling down to the bottom and shift clicking the bottom one. Or if you click on the model and then you right click and then you hit uh, select children. And then you right click again and you hit ungroup or use control U. Uh, it'll all ungroup into one big old track. Uh, keep the stands group though. It's better that way. And there you go. Now you have your track as a group. Uh, nickname it whatever you want. So like I'm going to call this uh, test track one. Uh, whatever name that you give me, I will give that track that name in the game. And then you'll just go ahead and hit Publish Selection to Roblox while you have it selected. And then you'll hit Create New, Test Track 1, hit Allow Copying. I always make my stuff sports. Go karting, hit Finish. And now all you have to do is go to the Roblox page and your models where it's at and your inventory and then send me the link in a personal message and I'll be happy to see what you guys can create and we can get this game going. Thank you.